good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're going to be working on the white truck yet again uh so what we're actually doing right now is um i'm gonna run in here in the shop and get the ac turned on for one it's supposed to be up in the triple digits today uh we'll get the ac turned on and we need to look at our welder plug uh, to make sure that the new welder that we bought has the same plug as our 220 plug in uh, and we're also going to look for a uh, extension cord for 220 so i'm gonna run in here we're gonna do that real quick and uh head out and see what we can find if we need to get any new plugs or i know for sure we do need an extension cord so we'll run out and see what we can find all right guys so it's a little bit later uh we couldn't find a 220 extension cord anywhere uh so we got a plug and a box like you would mount on your wall uh we're gonna have to get some uh wire and just make our own uh but that's not a big deal but for right now what i'm about to start doing because uh, we are working on our steps today trying to get the steps on and then once uh, those are on we can get to work on the front bumper brackets so uh, i have new pods for the bumper i have rock lights uh, so we can get the fender liners put in um, i have new ones in the back of the truck uh, i want to get the rock lights on get them wired and then put them out all in at once um, we don't have liners for the rear I have yet to find anybody that makes liners for the rear of these. Um, so I guess for the time being, uh, unless I can find some at some point here pretty soon, uh, we're just going to put the rock lights straight up in the bed and call it good, you know, like I've done before. So I was hoping to find some liners, make that a little bit easier and uh, kind of clean that up back there. But if nobody makes them, nobody makes them. So. Uh, another thing I've been meaning to price and I haven't done it is uh, bolts for these flares. A couple of them are missing, like that one up there. There's a couple missing in the rears. I want to get new bolts for those and I want to get uh, new clips to go around uh, when we pull, uh, when we put the fender liners in. So I'd like to just, you know, replace those while they're off because um, I know some of them are missing as well. But anyway, what we're gonna start with uh, today, or I guess right now, is going through and replacing these J-clips in the rockers of this truck. That way, and we also got uh, new bolts for that as well. Hopefully, we can get those replaced and take our new uh, step uh, brackets, bolt them to the truck. And what we're going to do is somewhere in here, I don't remember exactly where we put it. We got some flat metal. And on those steps, uh, y'all know I got those square steps you can see right there. So on the bottom, of these steps we're going to bolt some flat metal to them and then we can weld uh, that flat metal to the brackets that we have we're going to modify those a little bit uh, to get them to fit where we want them and by doing that we can kind of move the steps in and out uh, depending on you know where we want them so we also got some bolts uh, they're in the blue truck i should have brought those down but they're in the blue truck uh, we got some nuts and bolts to bolt our brackets to the uh, steps over there. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, like I said, we're going to get the, the brackets bolted to the truck. We're going to get our flat metal bolted to our steps and then set them where we want them, weld them in, and we will be good to go. Um, I think what we're going to have to do, unless we can find, we, me and my grandpa was talking about, we might have some wire around here for uh, 220. If we do, we'll just make our own extension cord. If not, we'll either go pick some up or 
what we can do is just mark our brackets where we want them take them out and weld them up uh, over here so that shouldn't be a big deal but like i said first things first i want to start by getting these j clips swapped out with those and uh i guess we'll go from there okay guys so i'm currently under the truck uh, i have our brackets i have our new j clips and bolts um three and then there's another one there but i was looking under here and i really wanted to put uh this is the bottom of the rear seat so this is where the uh seat bolts are right here um we're on the driver's side obviously so you can see this is the back of the cab for reference that is the front of the bed uh e-brake cable here um so i really wanted to have a mount here um kind of under this what would be a door but being as this truck is a three door uh, this is not an actual door here i just wanted to have a step here or a bracket here because these steps are so long but looking up in here we only have one uh, j clip so uh, there's a few things we could do here uh, one of which would be to get something or another and uh, put another hole here uh, for another clip um, or depending on how far these brackets depending on how far these holes are apart it looks like I could sneak another J clip on this side and uh, be fine depending on how far uh, these holes are apart in conjunction with the brackets um, which I guess I guess if nothing else you could drill another hole in this but um, and the reason I don't know if I said this the reason we're replacing these uh, J clips is I don't have bolts for them and I didn't want to have to mix and match and find bolts and such as that so we just bought new ones and I know some of these the uh, threads are a little monkeyed up and kind of everything else so that's why we bought new ones but I'm gonna grab a tape measure uh, measure from center to center on these two holes and then measure on our bracket and see because this truck is not it's tall but it's not tall enough to where you can sit under it and work um, but like I said I'm gonna measure this and if nothing else we will have to drill a hole in our bracket here uh, it needs to be straightened a little bit but we will uh, we'll worry about that later and we'll worry about making it a little prettier uh, later as well okay guys so uh, sorry for the weird angle I apologize I'm currently laying here on the floor when we're doing this but we got um, one of our J clips swapped over and then as you can see we're just just over with that bolt hole there um, so we could do like I said we could do one of two things uh, we could either drill in a hole a new hole which I don't really see the point in doing so when we're that close or we could take a um, like a file bit on a drill open this up and then we should be good to go now for uh, these these guys here they are also off um, so for those we could either well for one they're you know probably a half inch gap here or so so they would need to be spaced and then what we could probably do is just drill new holes in our rocker here and that should be more than sufficient um, but I want to get the top mounted before we worry about uh, these bottom mounts here 
because those should be fairly easy because you can access uh, both sides of this pinch weld. All right, guys, so I got this one fully mounted and you can see it's, it's a little twisted. Uh, we'll have to bend it back, but shouldn't be too difficult to do. But I got two bolts in this one in the top and one in this one. And we're gonna have to drill another hole for it. And I think we're gonna try to make another bracket to put, you know, kind of right here in the center. Cause that's a pretty good stretch. And these aren't built out of much. So uh, we're gonna have to bend that one. You can see it's all crooked, but anyway, moving along. Um, now we are gonna have to play with how much these kind of stick out. So I almost think we're gonna have to cut this little curved mount off so we can move them in a bit more. But I just thought I would show you all that real quick. And on this one, for the frontmost mount, we're gonna have to make we're gonna have to make a hole there and uh, get it bolted in. Okay, guys. So <laughs> it's not um, if uh, you can see that. Yeah, but um, my grandpa got up in the attic, and we retrieved. Uh, lots, lots of steps. Um, <laughs> um, don't worry about the ones that are standing up there. Those are going to be a different video. But uh, we got some that come off the blue truck. We have the originals off of this truck. And then we have that mystery set there that I'm not going to talk about. Um, <laughs> those may or may not be for a certain red truck around the compound here. Um, but what we did is the blue truck had some steps on it when my grandpa bought it. Uh, those steps, well, this sets a bracket right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, those brackets as well to put for our middle support on these. Now, one thing I don't like about these new steps is they will stick out past the tire a little bit, but... You know it, it kind of is what it is um i mean for this truck there's not a company that makes any steps that i like anyway um other than if you can get some amp steps and make them work but uh, amp doesn't make steps for these and uh i'm really don't want to buy a 1500 1600 set of steps for uh trial and error so <laughs> we're gonna make these work uh, for the time being and then maybe at some point in the future, we'll try to get some amp steps uh, after I do a little bit more research and try to fit a set of amps onto this truck. Um, but we're gonna pull those mounts off. And like I said, those are gonna be for our center supports. Um, just, you know, for the time being to get these mounted because I wanna start driving this truck again. I mean, it's been a hundred plus every day for the last week and a half two weeks um this thing has ac <laughs> the 60 does not so that's kind of the push to get this thing driving this weekend okay so what we ended up doing was pulling these brackets off of uh the steps that come off of his blue truck now those those are uh, gonna need some straightening from uh rick but we're not gonna talk about that um but Ended up working out a little bit better because the brackets on these, the holes where it mounts to the cab, instead of being slotted up and down, they were slotted kind of side to side. Um, but we have one test fitted over here on the side of the truck. We just need to uh, figure out how to get it to stay there. So this is kind of pretty much OEM fit. We've been looking at his blue truck out there and kind of comparing everything and this is pretty close to oem fit uh, it's just sitting there but now we gotta we might drop it a little bit um that way you can get your foot under it because right now it's right at the bottom of the rocker so yeah so we'll probably try to drop them inch and a half two inches somewhere in there uh to get them 
like I said, OEM, about like his truck is. So, just got to figure out how to get there from here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, me and my grandpa were just talking about it, uh, and I think what we're going to end up doing is on these brackets, you can see they have the portion mounts to the truck comes out, down, and then over. I think right here where it comes down, we're going to cut it and then uh, add a piece in of flat steel, get it all welded up, and then you can grind it smooth, you know, and so on and so forth. Make it look like it is one piece. Um, so we have some flat metal that we picked up uh, to put on the bottom side of the steps that I had mentioned earlier. Um, so he's going to go grab that. We figured out where we put it. <laughs> um, but he's going to grab that. And uh, I think we're going to use that to do these. So thought about cutting these, but you had to cut a good set of brackets up. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these. They just doesn't actually work for our application here. So I think that's the plan. Uh, like I said, I think we're going to add about two inches, get them down about two inches from the cab. And I think that should give you plenty of room to where you can kind of get your foot up under it, you know, and you're not having to step sideways. Also, guys, I was going to show y'all, this is kind of what we're trying to match. Uh, you can see how these fit up with this truck. This is kind of what we're trying to match with the white truck. Except for a little farther down, a little farther out. Because um, this truck, I'll show you all, but you can't actually get your foot under your the uh, steps, or at least I can't. Uh, even wearing flip flops, they hit right there. So we're trying to kind of accommodate for that with those. But anyway, we'll get back to the video. I just thought I'd show you all that real quick. Okay, guys, so I think we're probably about to call it a day, uh, but I figured I'd give you all kind of a uh end of day update i guess end of video something like that uh we got the steps pulled off uh, again so we have the step off um we need to measure between these that way we can get our flat metal cut and uh get a piece made that'll bolt between the rails of the steps but we did get one cut um my grandpa welded this up and I have to do a little bit of cleaning, but getting used to the new little welder there. But you can see here, we cut and added this piece in, um, two inch piece, that'll drop it down. And then we also cut this um, little round bit off, it's over there. So this should ideally get us where we want to be um so you can kind of see there like i said we'll have to do some cleaning but shouldn't be a big deal we'll set this on the floor wait we don't catch our table on fire um we did get or i say we my grandpa got several of those pieces cut so we should be good to do our four brackets and be just fine so i think we decided we're going to run two brackets for the time being and see how strong everything is uh, see how it feels and if nothing else we can straighten these up and add another bracket uh, in the middle so that should get us um i need to grab my wallet before i forget it in here but that should be a nice height. I mean, to kind of put it into comparison, I'm 6'2", six 6'3", six somewhere in there. And if I stick my leg straight out, that is the bottom or kind of the door seal here. So we should be all right with that. Um, but we will just have to see um i guess you know your truck is tall when you can use the seat 
for an armrest and barely reach your wallet and six O keys. But, I mean, like I said, probably gonna be the end of this video. Uh, we kind of ran out of time for the day. We got some other stuff we gotta go do. Um, still gotta medicate the dog. He's doing better. So that's a good thing. Um, it's been, been a few days. He's still a little rough, but he's doing a lot better. So that is a good thing. But anyway, the new welder, like it. Really like it. My grandpa likes it. Uh, I like it. I did a couple, couple little tacks, but also we need to get all this clean. But for the time being, guys, I reckon, like I said, that's probably going to be a wrap for this video. Sorry we didn't get them on. I really wanted to. That was kind of my goal, but it happens. And if you can see, it's kind of smoky in here because we caught the table on fire. <laughs> um, but like I said, we are going to try to get these on uh, here real soon. Um, if at all possible, let me shut this door for y'all. But if all possible, I would like to try to get them on uh, this weekend. Today is Friday. Um, lucky me, I probably have to go to jury duty on uh, Tuesday. So, won't get to work on it then. But, we're going to try to get it. We're going to try to get it this weekend. I know someday we'll probably, one day this weekend, we're we'll probably going to take off. Because uh, I had mentioned my grandpa's little brother um, was having some issues. And he actually passed away uh, the other morning. So, kind of want to, you know, kind of got out here just to have something to do. But we'll probably take a day to just kind of relax a bit. But, anyway guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. I hope everybody has a great day.